Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I have something a little bit different for you, and it's the start of a new series, and we're going to be doing a Bethany Bates series that showcases some of my favourite recipes. So, because it is the Queen's Jubilee this week, so she's been the Queen of England for 70 years, which is just crazy. So I thought that um, I could have a theme of red, white and blue. Hopefully these recipes are something that you try out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with our video. Okay, for our recipe, you're going to need digestive biscuit, butter, vanilla extract, double cream, lots of cream cheese, a little bit of icing sugar, strawberries and blueberries. Okay, first you want to tip your biscuits into a large bowl and then just like I have, I've used the back of a rolling pin to um, make sure that I smash them up so that they kind of resemble a breadcrumb consistency. Okay, so you basically mash up the biscuit so they are crumbled and then all we're going to do is add in the butter and combine it so it kind of makes a wet consistency so i would just do a little bit at a time just so you don't over butter it otherwise the base can become really hard so just have a little bit of butter i'm just going to put it in this little friend's mug your base and you just pop that in the fridge while you do the cream cheese so the butter can harden the biscuits can harden and it just makes the perfect cheesecake base so you have to whisk uh, double cream or whipping cream now if you don't have the arm strength like me because my nan could stand there whipping cream for hours um, but unfortunately I don't have the arm strength. I also don't have a mixer. So here's my tip. You put it into your blender, put it on two seconds, whipped. Whipped cream, baby, watch. Ta-da! It's literally whipped. So then you just scoop that out. Then pop your cream, your whipped cream, into the fridge because we've got to make sure that this is cold when we combine it with the cream cheese so it doesn't all water down. Okay, so once you've got your cream cheese mixed with your icing sugar and vanilla extract, you can then combine the whipped cream together and then pop it onto the top. So let's do that now. Gorgeous, this cheesecake looks. Okay, so scones are actually really easy to make. So all you're gonna need is self-raising flour, some uh, baking powder, some caster sugar, butter, and a little bit of milk, two eggs, and that's it. So start by pouring the flour into a large bowl and then you want to add the caster sugar on top. All you're going to do then, add the baking powder, one um, teaspoon and then add the butter and you're just going to basically crumble those together. Okay, so 
You want to basically mix the mixture until it resembles very fine breadcrumbs and then you're going to add little by little the milk mixture which is just the milk and the eggs. Just add until it becomes all like a soft dough. Okay, so I've just brushed uh, the top of them with a little bit of the mixture that was left for the egg and milk. I'm now going to place them in a 220 degree oven for about 12 minutes. Um, so yeah, let's do that now. Okay, what? I've never made scones before, but... And we just like, they are bouncy, they look delicious. Oh my goodness, I am pretty impressed. And I still have some more dough left, so I'm gonna make a couple more. But, wow, impressed with these. Final recipe for today is a mini pavlova. All you're going to need is egg whites first. Once you have separated your egg whites, you want to whisk this for about one minute using an electric whisker. Now, I do not have an electric whisker, so I'm just going to use my coffee whisker uh, for the job until it starts to form soft peaks. Next you want to whisk the egg whites until they form soft peaks. Once they do you can add the sugar and continue whisking for about 10 minutes until it's soft and glossy and sticks to the bowl. Okay so my meringue just looks like a bowl of white stuff is basically done and it doesn't move out of the bowl so it must be done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it in the piping bag and pipe them into kind of Twill dome things that I would be able to put the cream and the toppings in afterwards. So I'm going to do that now. Then add in your mixture to your piping bag and place um, them on a baking tray. I just made mine swirl so once they've baked they can um, have filling inside of them and then you want to put these on a low heat so I put mine on 110 degrees and I baked for about an hour and 15 before taking them out and just letting them cool in the oven for another half an hour. And when they've cooled completely, you can then do the filling. Okay, so the final step, once your mini pavlova, mini meringues have been done, you want to fill it with whipped cream, and then you can add um, whatever fruit or toppings that you'd like. So I've just whipped my cream using my trick, and I'm just gonna fill the meringues with the whipped cream. Now, if you want to um, do all of your meringues, I would suggest eating them within four hours because as soon as you start putting the cream in, the meringue will start to dissolve slightly. So only fill the meringues once you have, or once you know that you're going to eat them within four hours. Otherwise, you can store the meringues in a container um, for a couple of days if you want to make them beforehand. Ta-da! And these are the meringues. Anyway, that's going to be all for today. Thanks for joining my first episode of Bethany Bates and I hope you stick around for more videos in future so don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye guys!